In today's video, let's find out how we can start using ChatGPT and not have it train on our data. Recently, OpenAI has done a ton of updates to the platform, so make sure to subscribe to this channel to see everything that's changed with this platform. One of the big updates that I noticed that's not really talked about is now our ability to use ChatGPT and not have it train on our data. Now, before, the only way we were able to achieve this is we had to pay for the ChatGPT team plan. But if you're familiar with the team plan, it's very costly. At a minimum, you'd have to spend 60 USD a month. So let's figure out how not to do that. Welcome back, y'all. In this video, we're gonna go over a feature that's pretty useful. As when I created the Teams plan video and went over the benefits of the Teams plan, one of the major benefits that a lot of people talked about was that the data was excluded from training on the model. And a lot of people were like, wait, does that mean that the plus plan, like everything and all the conversations we had in the plus plan were being trained on? Well, short answer is yes. But in this video, we're going to figure out how we can exclude our data now, which is pretty important as this is too costly for us. We don't want to pay $60 just for that one little perk. In order to do so, it's actually pretty easy. All we need to do is come up here and we're going to select temporary chat. Once we're in the temporary chat, we actually have a couple of different perks that are relevant to us now. I went ahead and screenshotted this before because this is what you presented as a pop-up and then it never shows up again, obviously. Here are the three major things. First off, a temporary chat won't show up in that little sidebar that we have with ChatGPT where it's like you can reference it later on. Second thing, which is the whole point of this video, is temporary chats won't be used to improve our models. They're not training on your data. And the third thing is that these chats themselves aren't gonna be stored in the new memory feature by ChatGPT, which I plan on making a video on, so make sure to check that out on this channel. Let's go ahead and play around with this new feature. As described, this chat won't appear in our history, use or create memories, or be used to train our models. For safety purposes, we may keep a copy for up to 30 days. Keep that in mind, I suppose. In theory though, basically anything I say in this chat shouldn't be recorded. So if I say, how do I make pasta and hit enter here, we will get an answer. Obviously, I don't think OpenAI will save this chat as it's probably not too high risk. But the idea now is that any files I attach to this chat any code I could potentially add to this chat, anything that could be quote unquote high risk could be said in this chat now and not be stored in the training model. And when I say high risk, I mean business sensitive data that you wouldn't want OpenAI getting access to. Once you're done with a chat like this, if I go ahead and exit out of it, say I just you know go to a new chat here, you will notice it's not saved in my dashboard or my sidebar or my sidebar. So keep that in mind. So if you were having a very important conversation or you were going down a very, very good rabbit hole with ChatGPT, make sure to keep that tab open as it's kind of like incognito mode that we saw of browsers, but now a ChatGPT version. If you feel like you learned something, make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. It helps me out here. If you don't even know who I am, my name is Corbin Brown. I do a ton of content with everything when it comes to business, anything artificial intelligence, anything when it comes to developing software, everything above the board in this new market that's developing check me out on other social medias also i want to point out i'm gonna leave a video at the end here that shows you how to download the desktop version of ChatGPT. why would i want the desktop version let's go to chatgpt.com the desktop version actually gives you access to additional benefits that you probably aren't aware of or maybe you are if you've seen the movie her it's scarily like similar i'll see you in the next video that's the video i was talking about when it comes to downloading the desktop version of ChatGPT. it's only like two minutes long that video right there, we're comparing the new GPT-40 model to ChatGPT-4 and actually seeing if it's better because sometimes we get told that these models are better, but they're really like not that impressive. That's my face. See you in the next video.